hey guys welcome back so in today's video we're looking at five common things that ladies do to their vagina that is very very wrong in fact some of them are even the leading cause of vagina infections such as yeast infection and bacterial vaginosis so in order for you to prevent all this infection and also to have a healthy vagina there are five common things that you need to avoid i'm dr akoche omale a licensed medical doctor so now let's dive right into the video so please at this point please do not forget to like and subscribe yeah so i've written them on my phone so from time to time i'll be looking at my phone to you know ensure that i don't miss anyone out so the number one is washing the vagina most ladies are fond of washing the vagina and it may not really be their fault because you know they're just acting based on their knowledge because they know that okay they want to like keep the place very very clean so now first of all now all you need to know is that the vagina is an internal organ yes and internal organs has a way of taking care of itself just like you know your intestine your throat they have a way of taking care of themselves so the vagina is an internal organ your vulva and your vagina they are not the same thing so the only thing you're allowed to wash is your vulva and not your vagina now the vulva is the part of your genital that you can see mm? while your vagina is the canal inside the vulva the very good example that i can use is my mouth and my and my lip so you can see my lip like this so this is my vulva the lip so it's only the vulva that you should wash. Why? If I should open the, the lip now, what you can see is my mouth. So the mouth is the vagina. You get it now. Uh -huh. So wash only the vulva. Don't wash the vagina. And reason being that the vagina has a very interesting mechanism that keeps it very, very clean and safe from some bacteria. Yes, and some bad bacteria. Number one, the, bat the vagina has what we call the vagina pH or, you know, acidity. The vagina is very very acidic in fact the ph of the vagina is around 3.8 to 4.5 so the vagina is very very acidic and this acidity of the vagina helps to keep it you know very very clean and also to protect it from harmful microorganisms so each time you wash your vagina what you are doing to it is that you dilute the acidity of the vagina so if you dilute the acidity of the vagina now those microorganisms can, can just walk inside or just catwalk and enter inside your vagina and, and start causing havoc resulting in you know yeast infection and bacteria vaginosis so this is why it is very very important that you don't wash your vagina the only thing you're allowed to wash is your vulva that is the part of your genital that you can see so please at this point please do not forget to like and subscribe the second thing that people like doing that most ladies like doing that we've received in the hospital is that they add vaseline to their vagina yeah they might you know be having might not even do it for any malicious reason maybe just for a very good reason they might just be having sexual intercourse with their husband and then they are feeling pain at the time or maybe they just want to like apply the vaseline to you know one of these sex toys and then use in the process to like lubricate the place so vaseline should not be used as a lubricant you understand if you want to use the lubricant there are some prescribed lubricant that you can use some water-based lubricant vaseline and every other petroleum jelly are products of petroleum and what it does is that it irritates the wall of the vagina and cause them to become inflamed inflammation will now result in infection you understand that so that's why it is not good to apply vaseline to your vagina if any guy wants to apply vaseline to your vagina if any if your husband wants to do so please don't apply vaseline to your vagina they're going to irritate it your skin and the wall of the vagina they are not built the same way no your skin is built for toughness you understand toughness it can withstand scratches and all those things so it, so vaseline will not have any effect on your skin but if you use that same vaseline in your vagina it will cause irritation you understand that so do not apply vaseline to your vagina the number three thing that people do very well is using deodorant yes i know some person might feel like okay in my vagina i need to smell this way you need to smell like rose you need to smell this way and some people that they used to like buy some a very short drug not a drug, maybe a, a deodorant, very, very short, that they will insert into their vagina. And then they'll say, I want my vagina to smell nice. I want it to, you know, so that whenever my husband smells my vagina, the, the odor will not drive him away and all those things, blah, blah, blah. But um, by doing so, you are interrupting the normal pH, the acidity of the vagina. Most of those lubricants, they can even irritate the vagina. They can interfere with the acidity of the vagina. And it will not make the vagina to become exposed to microorganisms. And then you will now come down with infections such as bacterial vaginosis or yeast infection. So please do not add any deodorant to your vagina. Do not insert anything. They don't even use a PEF. Mm? All those vagina spray, they will cause irritation. So please don't do that. Another thing that most ladies do is that 
they also put their fingers into their vagina. Your vagina is an internal organ. It's an organ that's supposed to be inside normally. That is why it is somehow protected with the vulva. That is the lip, you understand. The canal is just there because of sexual intercourse and also for delivery. So it's not for you to be like putting your hand there at all times. You can put your hand there, like whenever you want to inspect, maybe your period blood, or maybe you want to like inspect something. Maybe you are ovulating and they just want to like look at, you know, your discharge, your standby. Uh -huh. In that case, you can put your hand. But before you put your hand, make sure you wash your hand very, very well and ensure that your hand is not dirty. You understand? You may just be looking at your hand and be like, okay, this hand is neat. But if you put it under the microscope, the truckload of microorganisms that you see, in fact, you'll be very, very amazed. So that is why it is not advisable for you to put your hand. If it is not washed, please don't put your hand into your vagina. Number one, you risk having um, urinary tract infection. Number two, you risk having vagina infection too if you put your hand into your vagina. Ensure that you wash your hand very well with soap before you put your hand into your vagina. It's just like your mouth. If you want to eat or if you want to put your hand inside your mouth, you are not going to put your bare hands like dirty. In fact, even the mouth guy won't spill out, spit out some, some stuff. But the vagina, it will just take everything. You understand? So don't put your hand into your vagina. Another thing that ladies apply to their vagina very well that we have taken record of is using baby oil. Yes, baby oil or uh, coconut oil. Most of these things will also interfere with the pH of the vagina and they will also interfere with the normal microorganisms that are in your vagina to keep the place safe, preventing bad microorganisms from coming into the place. <clears throat> so please do not use baby oil, don't use coconut oil. Baby oil is for babies, it's for their skin. Coconut oil is for the skin, it's not for the vagina. It's going to interrupt the pH of the vagina. You understand? So I want you to like share this video to somebody that needs it and also give it a like for more publicity. I am Akoche Omale and thank you very much for your time. And please do have a wonderful day. Thank you.